are safe. Good fortune did not abandon us entirely. Despite many days of meditating and scrying, Sai Sahan's whereabouts still elude me. The projection that you witnessed in the Foundry of Woe showed him to be in great peril. If we are to find him, I will need your help, Vestige. Though Sai remains hidden from my sight, Lyris brings news that an agent of the enemy lurks in Daggerfall. Fear is on the lips of the people. Darkness walks among them. Even a blind man can sense it. It is the hand of Menemarko. If it is truly an agent of Menemarko's worm cult, it may provide us with a clue that will hasten our search. Seek this agent, but tread carefully. The worm cult is a cult of necromancy, and the undead are fearsome opponents. Venture to Daggerfall. Speak to old maid Maxell and Husnia the mercenary. It was on their lips that Lyris first heard murmurs of trouble lurking in the shadows. Locate this agent of evil. Return with any personal effects they carry with them. You're new to Daggerfall, aren't you? I know everyone in town. I don't like to gossip, but there's been an Imperial vagrant nosing around for the past few weeks. Suspicious looking fellow. I actually saw him picking through the trash outside the castle a few weeks ago. I've no idea where he is now. Oh, you're too kind. You make me blush. Come to think of it, I did see him a few days later on the south side of town. He was with another man, very thin and pale, almost sickly. Does that help? Hear ye, hear ye. Who's this now? I bet you've got a wild tale or two to share. Present company excluded? Hmm. Well, there was a dodgy-looking Imperial hanging out in a doorway near Southgate Alley this morning. He was eyeballing everyone who happened by. Seemed like a cut purse looking for an easy mark, if you ask me. Now, wait a second. Are you with the City Watch? Listen, I'm out of that line of work. You want to arrest somebody? That Imperial's your man. I saw him slip into a house right by the South Gate with another shady-looking character. Arrest them! Why have you contacted me? This is Abner Tharn. The Master and I are very busy. This had better be important. Wait a moment. I don't know your face. Identify yourself immediately. Yes, your report, you insipid twit. What, did you contact me by accident? Well, out with it. I don't have all day. Your disguise is terrible, by the way. You look like a character from a bad adventure novel. Are they? I didn't think that Redguard has been had a single friend left. Not in this world, at any rate. Never fear. Sai Sahan is safely locked away. Even if they were to discover his location, attempting a rescue would be suicidal. Of course I do. But I'm not in the habit of revealing vital secrets to insipid lackeys. Now be gone. And if you contact me again without good reason, I shall contact your cell commander and have you properly thrashed for your ineptitude. You've returned. What have you found? Abnathan shows his face again. I get the sense that he might have a larger part to play in the coming events, but for good or ill, I cannot say. Leave the orb with me. I shall be able to use it to locate Sai Sahan. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. I heard you and the Prophet talking about Abnathan. Didn't the Prophet tell you the story of the Five Companions? I don't know where to start. There's so much to tell. We were chosen by Emperor Varen to join him on a quest to recover a lost artifact called the Amulet of Kings. The Five included Varen, myself, a Red Guard named Sai Sahan, Abner Tharn, and the traitor Manamarko. You only know him as the man who killed you and stole your soul. But back then, he was Emperor Varen's most trusted advisor. 
It was Menemarco who convinced Varen to search for the Amulet of Kings. Varen wasn't a true dragonborn emperor. He didn't share Alessia's bloodline. Menemarco said the amulet could change all that. He said he could use it to perform a ritual that would turn Varen into a true dragonborn. It took us more than two years, but we finally recovered the amulet and returned to Cyrodiil to perform the ritual. Menemarco set us up. The ritual caused a violent explosion of magical energy. We lost Varen. Saisahan and I were declared outlaws. Manamarco convinced the Elder Council to recognize Abner Tharn's daughter Clivia as Empress Regent, but Manamarco was the true power behind the throne. Saisahan and I went into hiding. There was a bounty on our heads. Abner Tharn is Grand Chancellor of the Elder Council, and Chief Advisor to his daughter, the Empress Regent. He is also Manamarco's toady. Tharn's first loyalty is to his family and the Empire, and he's a ruthless bastard when it comes to defending them. The Worm Cult obviously doesn't share those loyalties. Tharn would never trust them, but he's too much of a coward to betray them. Maybe. But what could we offer him? He's already got more gold than the gods themselves. I know it's a lot to take in. We'll talk more later. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on the Prophet. Hopefully that orb will help him find out where Sai Sahan is being held. Once we know that, we can plan our next move. <laughs>